Hey everyone, welcome to one of our Bob's Watches tutorial videos. Today we're going over how to use your Rolex Daytona. Launched in 1963, the Rolex Daytona is the brand's line of chronograph watches inspired by automotive racing and designed to meet the demands of professional drivers and pit crews. In addition to its normal time-telling capabilities, the Daytona is able to function as a stopwatch and measure the duration of events up to 12 hours in length. Rolex Daytona watches are characterized by the trio of registers on their dials and the pair of chronograph pushers located on either side of their winding crowns. Additionally, the bezels of Daytona watches are engraved with tachymeter scales which work with their chronographs to measure metrics such as average speed and distance. It's important to note that while all Rolex Daytona watches have these same core features, their designs and operating instructions have slightly changed throughout the years. For example, vintage Daytona references feature manually wound movements rather than automatic ones, and on the oldest models, the chronograph pushers do not screw down like the ones found on later references. Regardless of these small differences, all Rolex Daytona watches function similar to most other mechanical chronographs, and they largely follow the same general operating instructions. One important thing to note about the Daytona is that since it has two different seconds hands, one for the time and one for the stopwatch, the centrally mounted one, which is for the stopwatch, will not move unless the chronograph is running. Instead, the running seconds hand for the time of day is located inside one of the Daytona's subdials, either the one at 6 or 9 o'clock, depending on your specific reference. Now, to set your Rolex Daytona, simply unscrew the winding crown and pull it out until you feel a faint click. Then, rotate the crown in either direction until the correct time is displayed by the centrally mounted hour and minute hands. Once the time has been set, push in the winding crown and screw it back down to the case in order to ensure that your watch stays protected against moisture and dirt. To use your Daytona's chronograph, unscrew the top pusher and press it to start the stopwatch. The centrally mounted chronograph seconds hand will then start moving around the dial. The number of elapsed hours are displayed on one of the sub-dials, while the number of accompanying minutes are represented on another. Pressing the top pusher again will stop the chronograph, and pressing it a third time when the chronograph is stopped will start it once again. Should you wish to reset your Daytona's chronograph back to zero, simply press the lower pusher with the chronograph stopped, and all three hands will immediately return back to their original values. Additionally, if your Rolex Daytona features screw down pushers, it's important to remember to always keep them secured whenever you're not using the chronograph in order to help maintain its maximum water resistance. Lastly, to use the tachymeter bezel on your Daytona to measure average speed, simply start your Daytona's chronograph and then stop it once you've traveled one unit of distance. This same process will work regardless of whether you're using miles, kilometers, or other. The centrally mounted chronograph seconds hand will now be pointing to a value on the bezel that corresponds with your average speed. For example, if it takes 30 seconds to travel one mile, then the chronograph seconds hand will be pointing at the 120 on the bezel, which indicates an average speed of 120 miles an hour. While this only provides an approximate figure, the Daytona can track speeds up to 400 units per hour, which is far greater than even the fastest of race cars. Originally designed for professional racing drivers, but now found on the wrists of countless individuals with impeccable taste all over the globe, the Rolex Daytona is widely considered to be one of the most famous luxury watches ever created. For more information on the Rolex Daytona, be sure to check out our website, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on our latest video content.